If a majority is good enough to elect legislators, it should be good enough to change our Constitution. And right now, our democracy is under attack. Tonight, county boards of elections in Ohio have been directed to begin preparing for an August special election to let voters decide on a measure that would make it more difficult to pass future constitutional amendments. Good evening to everybody and thanks for joining us tonight for NBC 411. I'm Carrie Charles. I'm Colleen Marshall. More than 100 protesters descended on the state house today ahead of the vote, voicing their opposition to the measure. Protesters were removed from the chamber shortly before the vote was called. In the end, the vote came down to a near party line split, passing out of the house 62 to 37. The Senate concurred shortly after. This evening, Secretary of State Frank LaRose sent a directive to state county boards of elections telling them to begin preparing for a special statewide election August 8th. It's scheduled for that date. The measure would increase the number of votes required to change Ohio's constitution from a simple majority to a supermajority. It would also eliminate the 10 day cure period for initiative petition organizers to gather additional signatures and requires organizers to gather signatures from at least 5% of voters in all 88 counties as opposed to the current 44. If passed by voters, it would go into effect immediately, meaning that any amendments on the ballot in November would need to have at least 60% approval. Now, before that special election happens, there will still be a lot of questions about the resolution, including how to pay for it and the election and its legality. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami spoke with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle and tells us what we can expect next. Costs, legalities, and whether the resolution has to do with abortion efforts. Those are all things being questioned after the passage of Senate Joint Resolution 2. To put on the special election in August, lawmakers need to allocate that money. Originally, they had a bill to allocate $20 million. That bill was scrapped, and now they're unsure where the money will come from. But Senate President Matt Hoffman says that funding will likely be part of the operating budget. If this resolution passes in August, that means 60% of Ohioans will have to approve constitutional amendments moving forward, like the abortion issue that will likely be on ballots in November. Some lawmakers say that's why they wanted to put this resolution on August ballots. As for the legality of the resolution, some Democratic lawmakers like minority leader Allison Russo say the way they established the date of the election may not be legal, but Speaker of the House Jason Stevens says they have their bases covered. There is some question about the legality of what they did. Uh, because essentially they have established an August special election through resolution and there are some constitu uh, constitutional questions about that. You know, our legal team has put together and, and looked at you know the resolution and feels like that it's a solid resolution and should be able to withstand uh, you know any legal challenge. The Secretary of State says ballot language will be issued no later than May 30th. Again, voters head to the polls in 90 days. That's on August 8th. Local for you at the State House. I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4. Thank you, Natalie. NBC4 has complete coverage of today's vote, including information about the August special election and what it could mean for voters in November online right now at NBC4i.com.